Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I've got what I've melted the second half of September 2018. And I'm looking at my empties going, oh my gosh. Um, I, I have a lot of things I didn't quite finish, but I used September as you'll see, uh, pretty much to try to get through more of my summer wax. Um, September was a half decent month here, so in the sense that the weather was warmer, so I really felt like this is my last hurrah for my more seasonal summery type scents. So, um, but first we'll go over here. I've got from White Barn or Bath and Body Ricks, we've got the Perfect Autumn. Um, it just hit the 50% mark. So far the burn's been perfection, um, but we'll give it a better review towards the end of the month. It's quite strong, um, almost a borderline too much spice for me, but it's quite strong. So I will give it um, a 10 out of 10 for that, for sure. You can smell that candle throughout my whole home. Over here we have M of WG's Whiskey Candle, which is part of my Throwback Thursday. It's already up on my channel. You can see either the Throwback Thursday play playlist or the M of WG. I've already done a, um, a review solely on that candle. So anyway, let's go on to the candles here that I've got. Well, I love this candle very much. I love Marshmallow Musk. I would definitely pick up another one, but I would likely chop it up. The marbleized um, jar is cool. It's sticker, I guess, is cool, but I did not burn all of it because it got dirty. Um, I was about down to about here at this point. It got dirty smelling like kerosene, so I stopped burning it, but I love the scent so much that if it's available next time I'm in the Bath & Body Works closest to me, I'd likely pick up another one of these and chop it up. I can't stress this enough, I say it all the time, uh, chop, buying candles from Bath & Body Works, chopping them up, especially if it's a, a beloved scent that you adore, so economical. Like you're doing yourself and your wallet a favor by doing so, especially if you already like melting, like um, wax melting as it is. It is just really, really great. Um, another candle I did not finish because it got burnt smelling is also a throwback Thursday, also already on my channel with a full on review. And this is M of WG's Mahogany and Merlot. Uh, this, it smelled good. It was pretty heady, like a heavy oaky type scent. I mean, that's the whole nature of this candle. But what I will say is I did have to stop burning it. I am technically, you can't really see because there's still lots of wax on the, on the side, but I'm down to about here. Um, so again, I almost completed it, but it just became like, I didn't enjoy it anymore because it smelled really like it didn't smell like a good candle anymore. I just wasn't enjoying it any longer. So I wouldn't repurchase that one. I got that one at a discount store too. All right, on to some uh, things that I melted but didn't quite finish. I am going, oh, this is so good, you guys. I'm so glad I got two of these. Um, this is Bath & Body Works Intense Coffee. Ha ha, intense. Anyway, um, love this so much. I chopped up, as I just mentioned, this is a three-wick candle chopped up. The bags are from L3 Waxy Wonders. That's where I get the bags. Uh, I know they're a US company, but they have a pretty good and decent um, deal on the bags and so when I order I make sure I order lots actually I almost have to get more of these bags I think but anyway um love the scent this is going to go right back into my bag for October uh in my coffee bag I have like a whole section for just coffee because I do love my coffees I would definitely repurchase that I do have one full candle still that I will likely chop up down the road this was a throwback Thursday, so there is a full review on this. This is the classic. This is the OG Bath & Body Works Pumpkin Coconut Candle. That again, I chopped up as the same kind of bag. Anyway, these are all the chunked up pieces. Absolutely adore the scent. It's probably one of my top favorite candles ever. Um, I really love that scent. It's so, so it's a perfect gourmand um, scent to me without being sickeningly sweet. It's got a little bit of a spice cake. I basically get a spice cake uh, with definitely just exactly how this picture really shows. Spice cake with like nice vanilla, like a, a white icing and then shaved coconut. The coconut isn't the strongest thing. So if you're not like a huge fan of coconut, but you like a spice cake, I would definitely give that a shot. I know that um, Bath & Body Works online only it's available which that's why you'll never see me order it online and i think that's a complete 
crap that they do that. They do these exclusive online only candles. I think that's retarded, but whatever. What do I know? Um, you won't see me get uh, it. It's just too expensive for me to order online. Anyway, this is a love, love, love spell from Hayden Rowe. I bring this out quite often. I This was a super large pan of just love spell, uh, which is, of course, a, a Victoria's Secrets love spell. So far, Hayden Rowe has the best dupe, I feel, of love spell. Enjoy it. Love spell mixed with things I'm finding is amazing as well. Um, yeah. I have tons of this left because like I say, this is a huge, this was an absolutely mondo size loaf that I bought, but um, I would definitely get more from Hayden Row down the road for sure. It would definitely be a repurchase for me. So I'll do that. I'm going to have to cover up the candles. All right, let's go on to some wax melts that, I, oh, this isn't even closed. Oh, Kim. <gasps> Sacrilege. Scent was seeping. Seepage. All right, I have super tarts. Um, Mystique, which is pink sugar and shaving cream. I love this for my bathroom. So enjoyable. You don't need much. Again, with super tarts, I've said this before, less is more, at least in my humble opinion, in my experience, there's only been one or two cents that I really felt like I needed to put more in my warmer. Uh, that is very lovely. 100% would repurchase and recommend. Now we've got a couple, and I did a lot of blending, um, actually with all three of these, so we'll just talk about them. These are all from Rose Girls. This is Serendipity. This is Fizzy Pops. And this is Blue Hawaiian. I tried as I might to try to get through all three of these uh, for the whole, like try to get through a lot of it. And I did melt quite a large amount of it. So these are gonna get stashed away for the summer months next year. And again, what the heck? I'm seeing these bags, <laughs> apparently. Or some, oh, maybe, you know what? I think I have a ghost in my house that while I'm away um, at work, they come in and they sniff because they like the smell of my house. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I like all of these. Fizzy Pops is a fabulous blender. I've tried Blue Hawaiian and Serendipity mixed together. Really enjoyed that, but I've also done all three and enjoyed that as well. So there we go. And then we have from Zape Lavender Coconut Milk. This was a big loaf that I did cut up. This is my favorite for the bedroom. Um, I will, let's see, did I close this one? I did, did I? Yes, I did. Anyway, this is a favorite of mine for my bedroom. I really enjoy this scent. Um, it's just a really nice coconut, definitely a coconut milk versus like a heady, um, woody coconut. If that makes sense, this is definitely a more of a creamy coconut milk, that kind of thing. And the lavender is beautiful with this. So I will likely just pop this in back into my melting basket for the next month. And in my bedroom, I have another bag that's just specifically for bedroom. I have a bag for my bathroom and I have a bag for my coffee scents. And then I have this huge amount for in my living, in my, my great room, I guess, if you will. And I will probably pop the, what, I only have two cubes left, and I didn't realize that, but the Cucumber Melon from Sensationals, which is one of my favorites, and I, there's not too many Sensational Wax melts that we Canadians can find in our Walmart. Compared to the United States, you guys have such a plethora of either Sensational scents or Better Homes and Gardens, of which we don't get. But I'm happy to say that this is one of the scents that we Canadians will find on our shelves for the most part any old time. So uh, I think I have one more of these as backup. I will pop this, these last two cubes in. Maybe in my bathroom would be nice and fresh. I, I love, you either love cucumber or melon or both or you don't. I find that there's kind of a polarizing scent in that way. But I love it and I look forward to melting this down the road again. And then we've got from Walmart again, we've got the Glade Wax Melts in Cashmere Woods. This is just a really nice scent. Um, has to describe it, I would almost say it was like Egyptian cotton with a little bit more cologne to it. It's really, really nice. And one of these cubes, I mean, one of these cubes I put in my bedroom. I like this particular scent in my bedroom. So one cube in my bedroom does very well. Um, whereas I would normally put two cubes of Sensationals or Better Homes and Gardens in that same warmer in my bedroom, for example. So that's why I've only gone through two. I mean, but I did use it twice. I really enjoy it. I would likely pick up more in the future. I don't believe that particular scent is, 
I don't believe it's um, limited edition. So, all right, so let's go on to, I've got a couple of these bigger clamshells that I've emptied. This is Tropical Beach Getaway by Better Homes and Gardens, which is partially beach flowers and partially dragon fruit. These, I melted them together exclusively. It smelled beautiful in my home. I really love this. I have to say that I think the dragon fruit stood out on warm more than the beach flowers, but on cold, I mean, sniffing this package is definitely the beach flowers that stands out. I really like this. Um, like I mentioned a few moments ago, we Canadians don't get better homes and gardens, but I have some awesome friends who have sent me um, better homes and gardens as well. So that's really great. So we have Sensationals Taste the Tropics. This is again, one of those mixable fragrances. US only, but this is grilled pineapple and island melon coconut. Um, I think I have each of these individually, um, but then blended together was really, really nice. Just a really nice cocktail. Um, grilled pineapple, it just smelled like pineapple, but I, anyone who's grilled a pineapple before, or if, let me see. Yeah, like just basically when, when pineapple has hit heat of some kind, it does caramelize, so it becomes very sweet. And I quite enjoyed this. And so there was sweet and fresh, like fresh fruit and sweet fruit. So this is really, really nice. The pineapple definitely stood out more than the other blend, but I would definitely get that again. It was definitely summertime in my house, in my nose. It was great. All right, so we're gonna do some better homes and gardens. Chilled cherry limeade, this is really good. Definitely cherry, um, I would say artificial cherry. Would I repurchase this again? Likely not, but I'm glad I tried it. Um, but like I said, it was more of an artificial cherry, so not truly my favorite, Whoa, but this one was. Cucumber melon sorbet. Again, just like I said a few moments ago, either you're a cucumber fan or not, or you're a melon fan and you're, or you're not. I like both, and this was so good. I would definitely stock up on that. This is perfect for the summertime. Um, I really felt like, I was so glad, like I walk, I think I left to go to the grocery store or something, I came back and I'm like, oh my God, it's like summer in my house, even though it's raining outside. I was like, yes. So I would definitely recommend this. I, I don't, obviously I don't get better homes and gardens, but I would definitely recommend it if you see it in your local store. Pineapple melon freeze. This is kind of forgettable. <sighs> There's so many pineapple scents that come out. I think in the summer for Walmart wax, they they think of summer and pineapple everything. And in the fall, it's like cinnamon, or sorry, it's, sorry, it's pumpkin everything, but it's really cinnamon. This was nice, but it was forgettable for me because it was just more pineapple. Um, I, I like pine pineapple, but there are some that stand out more than others, like the one I just mentioned, the... Um, the Ugh, where is it? The half, the mixable grilled pineapple and island melon coconut. That was fantastic. But yeah, this is all right. I wouldn't repurchase it. It definitely had a little bit of the melon and a little bit of the pineapple. Tropical sun, pure tropical sunshine. This was very, very nice. I had this going in my bathroom. It was more of a cologne scent. It was quite strong. Um, would I repurchase this? Nah, I don't think so. I, I, it was nice. I liked the picture. I wish I was on that beach right there. But um, a little too cologne for me, at least in my own opinion. Then we have Mango Sorbet Lemoncello. I love Lemoncello. For those of you who don't know, it is an after dinner drink. It's more like an after dinner, what would you say? It's supposed to be a sipping drink that you have, like in Italy. Uh, it's supposed to aid in digesting your large meal and things like that. I've been to Italy. Um, they put like I went to a small town. And they put a bottle of grappa and a bottle of limoncello, both homemade, uh, down at your table. The chef would come out and sit down, or the owner, sorry, would come down and sit down with you for a few minutes. I mean, I'm talking. I went to the like smallest town, and it was awesome. And that was my first time with limoncello. This is lovely. It's definitely lemon, which comes first, and then mango. But I think the combination between lemon and mango is actually really nice. And I think more melts need to be combined with the lemon and the mango. I don't think there's enough combinations of the two. Um, and that with fizzy pop would be really good, actually. Just thinking about it now, that would make a really good blend. And of course, I'm over this now. But <laughs> anyway, there you go. I would definitely repurchase this for sure. Then we have, oh, 
yet another pineapple. We've got pineapple kiwi colada. So uh, pina colada, which would be pineapple and coconut. Um, you see like mint sprigs on everything, but it's just a garnish in the photograph. They don't, they don't smell any mint anywhere. Let's see. Strangely enough, the coconut comes out before the pineapple. I do like this because of that, because like I say, it was very pineapple heavy over here. And like I mentioned earlier, it seems like Walmart, whether it's Better Homes and Gardens or Sensationals, to them, summertime means pineapple, pineapple, and fall means pumpkin, which means cinnamon. So I find I get myself, I get sick of certain scents after a while. Like I really got sick of cinnamon last fall because of Walmart wax. And I'm, I'm just going to be bold and say that because I, I realize that I don't like the a lot too much cinnamon. There is a borderline of too much. Um, this one I liked because it was more of a creamy, like the drink. It, would, it definitely smelled like a coconut colada drink. Uh, Sunlit Strawberry Patch was nice, but I don't feel like it competes with anything that smells like a strawberry and camp campino candy. I felt that the strawberry was very artificial to me, so I would not, but I would not buy this again. Even smelling it in the clam, it smells, it does smell nice. It smells creamy and, and that, but it, when it was warmed, it was just too artificial and I just wasn't digging it at all. So, unfortunately. Uh, something I've had in my collection for a really, really long time. And again, one of those ones, just like the cucumber melon, I can get here in Canada pretty much anytime I want. I think the last time I checked, they had this at my Walmart, but you never know our Walmart suck at restocking. As Fiona, if you're watching, you will understand. So pink citron is very nice. Actually, this photograph would describe, depict the scent very well. If you could think that the cit pink citron is definitely like a grapefruit. Um, there's something else to it. It's not heady grapefruit, but it's like, and I don't mean no offense, not that it's pink in color, but it's like a girly drink. It's, it's not quite a cosmopolitan, but it's got that drink scent to it. And when it's warmed, it's really, really nice. I would I absolutely pick up another one of these. And then this would be another one I would like to see what it would be like mixed with, with a fizzy pop to give it like a nice um, fruit punch of some kind. That would be really nice. Apple melon. This was really, really cool. Um, this is not a new, this is a blend that everyone's done. I mean, apple and melon, melon, apple, whatever. It's all the same. Um, so this is not a unique scent. I wouldn't repurchase this and at all just because I can pretty much either blend with what I have or there's so many other ones out there um, that I found are better. This actually had a little bit of a plasticky scent to it at first. It did warm up. I definitely got more melon surprisingly than I did apple, which normally is the opposite for me. I normally have the opposite effect when it has ap apple and melon to it. Um, so I wouldn't repurchase it at all. One of my favorites, again, one of those ones in Canada we can get, which is coconut sea salt. I love this one. It is like a coconut cookie. If you've had cookie, like a, you know, a proper coconut cookie, not a macaron, um, but like a, just, you know, a baked cookie with coconut in it with, um, uh, and then if you had like kosher salt, like really, um, what am I trying to say? chunky salt on top to sort of as a garnish to your to make it like a sweet and slightly salty cookie this is exactly what i it smells amazing it smells like a baked cookie coconut cookie this is so good i would definitely i've purchased many of these i've gone through many of these i would definitely recommend this as well oh look at that honeysuckle pineapple I didn't like this one. It's honeysuckle. It's okay. And pineapple. And again, like there's just so much pineapple out there. I love the picture. I think that's fantastic. But um, I'm afraid I wouldn't repurchase this again because if I'm going to get like if there's a good pineapple one or two and there's like eight to choose from, I'm only going to stick with those one or two that I know tried, tested and true. Um, this was okay. It's mostly pineapple than honeysuckle, but you know, whatever. Guava peach, um, as you can see, it's all, some of them say limited editions, probably because it was just for the summertime. So um, this one was good. Uh, it reminds me of a passion fruit face wash that I used to get from the body shop when I was younger. So 
even though passion fruit isn't a part of this at all. It gives me the vibes of passion fruit, which is okay, but very artificial when warmed. And then here we have passion fruit coconut. This is really, really lovely. The combination between the two is wonderful. And look at this picture, shredded coconut and passion fruit. Fabulous. You did a good job. There's no like mint sprigs or like raisins or or leather or something in the picture that some of these like throw you right off on like, what it's supposed to smell like. So I would definitely repurchase that. This is the Island Melon Coconut. So this is half of one of those mixable fragrances. So um, this is all just Island Melon Coconut, which is beautiful. It's just a mixture of like little coconut in all, of, you see these little balls and it's more like melon balls. Like, you know, you get the little melon baller. And um, yeah, so this is, this is really good. I really enjoyed it. Definitely would think about repurchasing that next summer. This one's an, um, unfor well, a forgettable one again, raspberry margarita, eh, you know, so artificial, didn't care for it. Um, margarita is supposed to have salt along the rim, not sugar. I didn't get any saltiness to it. Um, it's just, it was a really powdery raspberry. I've never found sensationals or Actually, I think it's all been sensationals. I don't think Better Homes and Gardens does a lot of raspberry, but anything that I've picked up from Walmart with raspberry in it, so sensationals or I guess Better Homes, I just can't remember. The raspberry has been very disappointing to me. I love raspberry in wax, but I find that store-bought wax, I have not found a raspberry yet that I enjoy. So I would pass on that one, hard pass, if that came back again. Love this one. This is from Mandala Melts. This is a Canadian company. This is called Sailor Moon, which is lavender, coconut milk, and marshmallow. So very similar to lavender coconut milk from Zape, but this also has a little bit of marshmallow cream to it. Really enjoy this. I melted two cubes at a time in my bedroom. Loved it. And I this was the second and last. I had another clam of this. So this is the second clam that I've gone through. I would definitely repurchase that again. Jack Frost from Super Tarts, Herbal Lavender, Fresh Mint Leaf, and Lemon Curd. Uh, lemon Curd, Mint Leaf, and then Herbal Lavender for sure. Um, this stuff is strong. I had, oh my gosh, it's, it's strong and even it's empty. Um, I had one cube going in my ba my bathroom, which is at the furthest point of my home, and I could smell this all the way out <laughs> this way where I'm sitting right now. So that's saying something, because that's kind of a distance. A new favorite of mine from Super Tarts, which is Blanche, Downy, Supernova, and Sweet Lolly. Really enjoy this one. I would definitely, I know she's had band bags and that, and I've just been trying to be really good about and smart about my purchases for um, wax this upcoming few months. I've been really good. I've been sitting out on a lot of things, even though so many things have tempted me. Just trying to feel better about my own stash, trying to get through my own wax. But if Wax Wednesday, she has this available, I would definitely purchase this in any shape or form that I'm not mixed with anything. So just if it was in a clam or a cookie or whatever, um, or if she did a super pan of just Blanche, I would definitely get, you know, this, is, this is me telling you, I would get a super pan in Blanche on its own, no problem. No blended, you know, I would, I would get it. I love it, this, this one so much. It was become a new favorite bathroom scent. This one was a little bit different. So this is Bath Time by Goose Creek. And I have to say that there was like li lilac or something in here. I don't have the scent note descriptions, but there is definitely a uh, like greenery floral. And a floral, I wanna say it's like lilies or lilac, li li lilac sticking in my head. So it's something like that. And there's a real green note, like, um, like the leafy portion of the of the flower, the stem and so on. I liked it, it was very strong. I only needed, there's technically six little triangles on here. I only need one triangle in my bathroom at a time. So this definitely uh, lasted really, really well and threw like crazy. So that was another great thrower. We're almost done guys, thanks for being patient. We have a couple coffee scents. This is from the Rainbow Melts coffee sampler. Caffeine party, party which is creamy vanilla and coffee and a big slice, slice of birthday cake. This was lovely. Oh my gosh. I would almost, it says creamy vanilla coffee. I would almost hesitate to say that there's a little bit of the caramel in there. At least in my nose, it smells a bit of caramel. I actually don't smell the birthday cake at all. 
Um, this is something I just split in half and using two different warmers. This thing kicks like crazy. It is so strong, loved it. I'm so happy I bought two coffee samplers. I knew I was gonna love her coffee sampler, so I bought two. Something I wish I bought two of as well, which is a coffee sample from Zabe's coffee sampler, which is Witch Please, caramel pralines and coconut cream and espresso. This was lovely. I actually did get the praline in this one. Yeah. The coconut is on a back burner. I would say it would go caramel, pralines, espresso, and then coconut cream. But this was really, really lovely. I enjoyed this one very much. Again, one of those scents where I split in half and used it in two different warmers. And the last few items here are totally empty bags. So we have tea and cakes from Rose Girls. I finished this. Tea and cakes, not my favorite. Um... I've tried blending it with things. It's just, I don't know, there's just something about it. I'm not a huge fan of tea and cakes. I would not repurchase that, but I know so many people who love tea and cakes anything, whether it's from Rose Girls or wherever it's coming from, um, or blended or what have you. Uh, so many people are such a fan of it, but just not me. This is from my friend Ramona. This is, she sent me a few slices of her uh, custom blend from uh, Destination Wax. French lime blossoms and fresh laundry. This is beautiful. It smelled lovely and I enjoyed this in my bathroom and it was gorgeous. Um, the uh, blossom stood out before the laundry scent, so, but it was a really, really nice. So Ramona, you did a fantastic job on your blending for sure. And this is Tallulah and Poe. This is Fuzzy Love. This is another Canadian company. This is Sleepy or Lush type. Coconut Pink Sugar. This is gorgeous. So I used their little tiny little paws. There were six of them in here. And I used two at a time in my, my bedroom. It really truly is Lush type Sleepy. Then you definitely get the coconut. You know what? Surprisingly, the pink sugar is not a standout for me in this blend. Um, but that's okay. I love all, I would have loved all three of those types of scents. But overall, this, the fact that I could smell the sleepy, which is like a lavender, and then a coconut. Again, as you can see, I like a theme. I like lavender coconut. I have another lavender coconut over here, there, you know. I love it. So there you go, you guys. That is what I melted the second half of September 2018. All right, as always, you guys, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.